What's happening, everyone? What's up, guys? Time for another malt Welcome. review. Uh, we are doing a review from our very favorite distillery, Springbank. We have uh, we've purchased a one ounce sample. I'm gonna kind of point it close to the camera, see if you guys can see. This is a 24 year old single cask um, that was released in the UK only. I think it was in the beginning of the year. I think April. April, April 2019 this year, yeah. The Whiskey Exchange is selling one ounce samples. Yeah. Um, they have some really good ones. So uh, it was around Christmas time. Uh, we were able to get this. Uh, the, it's a 24 year old uh, Sherry Hogshead. Hogshead. It was uh, only 294 bottles of this. Uh, we'll make sure that um, somewhere in this video uh, that we have a picture of the full bottle so you guys could see it. Came out around 400-ish pounds, and now in the auction world, it's going for closer to like 900 pounds. Yeah. Um, we had missed out on the original price and didn't want to pull the trigger at auction, so we just didn't know how good it really was, but you found this little sample. Distilled 1994? Uh, I did not. Yeah, distilled 94, came out April 2019. 24-year-old, single-cast bottled at 46.2% ABV. Yes. All right. Natural color. This has been breathing That's for a spring bay. Look at that. For a good 20 25 minutes here. Yes, sir. Ooh. Here we go. Without further ado, on the Let's nose. Do it. Tropical fruit party, baby. Yeah, this is Ooh. This is a big time tropical fruit party. With the apricot and peaches oh, and, 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 and mandarins coming through, but apricot and peaches like yeah. big, big time. And it says sherry, but um, you get elements of like the very, very finest bourbon casks too. Yes. But it has uh, elements of that old school. If you look at the, for those of you who are big Springbank fans, the tall 21 year olds, the ones that were a little lighter in color, a um, mm. lot of tropical fruits. You get elements of some of those older uh, bottlings from Springbank, which is very, very nice. Now, this is obviously not a first fill. I yeah. would imagine this to be uh, perhaps even a third fill cask yes. or you know, maybe a second fill, but a beautiful cask is a reason why this du more than doubled in price at auction. Yeah, it went off the shelves like in seconds. Yeah, so it's that the old school like Springbank, syrupy, soaked, apricots, peaches, and tropical fruits. So just like back then, either almost suggesting like the old like Boko Barley bourbon casks or a very light refill sherry. Like not getting much of the cola, the honey mustard from the darker sherry, like the 21 Dumpies, J. Archibald Mitchell, John Mitchell. But it's just, oh, tropical fruit, a little light, peat, a little bit of that funk, a little coastal elements. It's got this beautiful, beautiful sweetness, like I, uh, vanilla icing sugar. It's just, mm -hmm. it's very, very sweet. Those fruits are so crystallized. Oh my God, dude. And it's just got this really, really nice Ooh. candied element with yeah. the fruits, very fresh. Yeah. The fruits are very, the, pro the tropical fruits are very, very fresh. And then you get the vanilla icing sugar mm. coming through. Yeah, just like, like caramelized gummy bear elements, man. But then now, I, the more I let it breathe a little bit, I'm getting even more of the salt, the coastal kind of mixing in with that. And then, uh, and even... Um, so, and so perfumey. It's almost like a tropical fruit-like fragrance. Like has this like this light, like perfume, fragrant quality about it. Yeah, and the distillery characteristics does show, it does have, it does have that maltiness and it, even some like brioche, like yes. thinking crepes, brioche, maltiness. Right, like kind of malt or bread, but like a sweeter bread, like a brioche. It's perfect. Absolutely. It's perfect. Yes, sir. Dude, this is. But oh. the main thing to talk about here is the fresh tropical fruits. That's it's so brown, beautiful. Like, yeah. like you'd think, like. It's the highlight. Yeah. Uh, when we did our, obviously not nearly on that level, but when we did our Bullmore 1956 video, we yes. talked about those fruits. It rem reminds you of some of that. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously- And that was a sherry, sherry cask as well with yes. those beautiful tropical fruits coming right. out. Right. So I'm imagining the cask they used, they could have just used a very old school cask. Sure. That had been used several times, maybe Absolutely. many times. A great cask. Yeah, right. like an old school, old school kind of cask uh, that might have been used even three or four times. 
Yeah. Yeah. That, that was still giving off phenomenal influence, but yeah. exactly like not not first fill like the cola mustard, just these beautiful fruits in the background. But yeah, I say like like Narvi said, it's like those all those Bowmore Sofiantinos <laughs> that we've done. Those were all sherry casks. Yeah. But it just you know refill whatever it is. They give off the most beautiful fruit elements. Yeah. That's what it's all about. This is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I can see why it flew off the shelf in seconds. I mean, already we know Springbank is one of the few distilleries that are still putting out amazing quality. When they actually do like single cask age releases, 24 years old still, but so already it was hyped, but man, the hype is real. Yeah, this, this is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Wish we could have gotten a full bottle. Like you said, right? It's what approaching nine hundred pounds now at auction. A thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's around oh. that area. Yeah, it's too bad. Man, this is the, the like, citrus, cit the sweet citrus fruits coming say, through. Getting like getting like some of that Bowmore like sweet pink grapefruit, like the most sweetest crystallized pink grapefruit. A little mango guava, like you said, strong citrus, like beautiful orange peel, beautiful lemon, but it's all candy. Yeah. It's all candy. That's the key. And and, and now it comes comes to comes to mind. Even get some pineapple in there for sure. Hell yeah. Um, some oily and waxy, some waxiness. Mm. Almost like this orange, sweet orange oil. This waxiness. Mm -hmm. It does. It has. It's got a thick, oily, waxy richness about it. Yeah. On the nose. Wow. By the way, for those of you, for those of you interested. Um, this a little sample is still available on the whiskey exchange, and it was very inexpensive. It was only it's only about forty dollars or so. So highly recommend. Considering what you're getting, obviously you have to add shipping and all that. So you just want something you want to add to your order, right. not necessarily just to order that alone. But yes, sir. excellent. Let's hit the palate. We can keep yeah. talking about it. It's a complex whiskey. We can keep talking about it forever. But for the sake of the review, let's hit that palate. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Wow. Nailed it. Just like the nose, baby. Wow. I want a full bottle, man. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is... That's just beautiful. That's fantastic. Mm. Rich. Uh, I... Oily. Mm. I was not... I was not expecting it to be... To be this good. Same here. Yeah. And I would not... Wonderful surprise. If I tried this blind... I would have thought definitely uh, perhaps a mixture of sherry and bourbon casks, it's not bingo. not just a straight sherry cask. But again, this is I'm willing to bet money that they use an old cask, yeah, an old old cask that had that had aged some very very good spring that still had some life in it. Yes, and you let it sit for 24 years, and it'll do some beautiful beautiful things because. I don't know a lot of the a lot of the newer casks they don't they don't make whiskey necessarily like this but again tons of tropical fruits guava orange pineapple citrus fruits heavy apricot and peaches again of course soaked it's, in syrup man it's all there yeah and it's lingering and lingering there's 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 no overly woodiness it's all Nothing. it's all fruit and a little bit a touch of that that peat a little bit of that sea breeze salt coastal yeah breeze. yeah Literally like the freshest, silkiest thing ever. Yeah, that's zero it. wood. Yeah, the beautiful savoriness Nuts. with the tropical fruits, touch of that waxiness that we talked about earlier on the nose. I think it's just a great representation of it being almost identical on the nose and palate. Bingo. And it, it's just like you said, man, like it's got to be like that when I'm third fill or at a point where they... Well, I think more than third fill. Yeah, at this, at this point, I just think it's probably a legendary cast yeah. that's just been used and used. And I think that's the reason why they bottled it at a single cast as well. Exactly. Yeah. Because literally like zero oak, the fresh, the yeah, freshest fruits yeah. ever. Well, that's why I think it might... Unbelievable. That's why I definitely yeah. know it's, it's, it's not a second fill. I think that you would have had some, some oak. This is unbelievable. Man. Yeah. Yeah, and they just knew it was time. It was time, yeah. and they would gotten the most out of it, and single cast. It's yeah, perfect. and I, wow. Only 294 bottles. Mm. And the age, the 24 years old is the perfect I'm gonna age do, for this. I'm going to do one more sip before I talk about the, the finish. Yeah. 
and it's just it's just this, this nicest, richest, oily waxiness. The spring banks coming out, the salt, the funk, these beautiful kind of almost like spicy gingerbready like Narvi said brioche kind of sweet, but now I'm getting kind of like spicier gingerbread, almost like kind of rye crackery elements, but with that Campbelltown character, that Springbank cereal malt Campbelltown character. This is gorgeous. Mm. Um, if you gave this to me, oh my god, it's incredible. If you gave this to me blind, mm. I think it's easy to say that I would guess this because I know it's a Springbank now. Mm. But again, so I, so I probably wouldn't because it's so hard to do things blind. Mm. But I'm telling you, I would, I would guess some of those older 21-year-olds. Mm -hmm. The older 21-year-olds, I swear, man, they're probably lying to us. They probably bottled them, put that in here. And we don't, we don't know for sure. Like say the older 21 tall bottles, right? Versus the shorter, darker dumpies. We assume we've read research. It's just more bourbon than sherry in there. Don't know if it's like maybe, you know, refill sherry versus bourbon, but yeah. what we think of, like Narby's saying, as the old quality bourbon spring bank elements, that's what we're talking about. To, I would think, yeah, I would think it's a beautiful, fruity bourbon spring bank. When the finish lingers and lingers, and when it's lingering with fruit, that's, that's, that's when a, a, a whiskey kind of gets an extra point for me because... Mm -hmm. It's one thing when you experience it, but then the finish is like leathery, oaky, and not that I mind those flavors, right. and chocolatey, um, and coffee, like those kind of, you know, especially after 24 years, yeah. you expect finishes kind of like that after you experience the fruit, then it kind of lingers off, right? right? But when the fruit flavor just keeps lingering and lingering and going and going, that's when, um, that's when it gets well, an extra point for the say, finish. I was just gonna say, it's crazy that Really for me, third sip. That third sip, but a bigger gulp. Now, I'm getting a tiny bit more alcohol, but I'm getting a little more of the sherry notes. I'm getting like darker, richer, jammier fruits. Like kind of a suggestion. Like in the foreground, the beautiful tropical kind of orchard, you know, bourbony fruits mm. are still taking over. But just now, almost like let the cat out of the bag, I did get more of like sherry quality. It was crazy. Awesome. Amazing. So, you know, if we had even more in a full bottle, who knows, but... Yes, this again quality we don't have a full bottle to go to go over this whisk you know to experience this from you know beginning to end we're gonna give it a score based on the sample that being said you know when we have a full bottle it's very very rare that we start with a score and then it changes by three four points yeah, later. it won't change dramatic. it usually it's it stays rare. the same or it goes up and down by one point occasionally maybe two points so right. True. You know, so it doesn't usually change much. Usually tends tends to stay the same or change by up and down one point. That being said, right now this is a ninety two out of a hundred. It's an extremely solid ninety two out of a hundred. I absolutely um, love this whiskey. Maybe we should buy the rest of these samples before we release yes, this review. Buy a, a bottle <laughs> worth of those samples. Yeah, yeah, but incredible. A very a very incredible, strong man. ninety two for me. How would incredible. you how would you rate it? I give it ninety one. No, out of a hundred, but. Incredible. Yeah. What a quality purchase. If you could get it when it first came out, oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I stunning. can see why it's going up in auction. Yeah. Incredible. All right, you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, click the thumbs up. Let's us know that we should keep releasing these reviews. And we'll see you guys for many more. Cheers. Cheers.